Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to download Windows Movie Maker for Windows 10 and install it free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up your favorite internet browser. I'm going to open up the new Microsoft Edge browser that's included in Windows 10 and once I have it open, I've already decided to go to my favorite search engine which happens to be Google and once I'm there I'm going to type Windows Movie Maker and then it'll give me some options here and I'm going to go down and click on the Windows Movie Maker download and the first link that comes up down below here is get Movie Maker Microsoft Windows and this is the link that allows me to get the um, Windows Movie Maker directly from Microsoft Windows um, website and uh, that takes me to get Movie Maker website page um, over on the Microsoft server and the link that um, you would want to go to if you went directly to this page would be right here and once you are on this um, web page you can see down here operating system it says Windows 10 Windows 8.1 Windows 8 and Windows 7 now it's version 2012 because they have not had a newer version and then you click on get it now and in Microsoft Edge it runs a scan and then I can click on run and that starts the installation and then I get a user account control window that basically asks me do I want to allow this program to make changes to my PC and I'm going to say yes because I want to install the Windows Essentials 2012 package which includes the um, Windows Movie Maker. Let me go ahead and minimize the uh, Microsoft Edge browser so we can see this more clearly and the uh, first option includes everything that's included in Essentials uh, Windows Essentials that is but I don't want to do that I just want to choose the second option here and decide what to install so I'm gonna uncheck those items or um, apps that I don't want to have installed on my computer at the present time and uh, the Microsoft OneDrive is already installed that came with Windows 10 so I don't have to install or uninstall that and uh, I'm gonna leave a check mark next to Photo Gallery and Movie Maker which are included together and click on install now once I click on install it starts the installation process of uh, installing Windows Essentials 2012 onto my computer and keep in mind it's only going to install the photo gallery and Windows Movie Maker and nothing else out of the package now depending on the speed and performance of your computer this can take some time to install but through the magic of video editing I have speeded this up so that this goes quickly. Now once the installation is completed of the um, installing Windows Essentials 2012 you get the window here that says it's done and once that's done you can click on close. Now as you can see it did not put a icon on the Windows 10 desktop so the way I'm going to do this is I can either um, start Windows Movie Maker from the uh, Windows 10 start menu or I can uh, also make a uh, shortcut on the desktop so I'm going to go over to here to the Windows 10 start menu click on that and as you can see um, re recently added was Movie Maker and I could start it by clicking on this or I can uh, go ahead and left click and drag a link a shortcut link onto my desktop so I can conveniently start Windows Movie Maker from either um, the start menu or my desktop so let's go ahead and get this started by double clicking on Windows Movie Maker on desktop and that will initially um, bring up the license agreement for the first time that you start up Windows Movie Maker and I do recommend that you read through this before uh, clicking on accept and once you have read it go ahead and click on accept and that will go ahead and prompt you once again do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC and yes I do want uh, Windows Essentials to open up uh, Windows Movie Maker so I'm going to click on yes and at this point 
Windows Movie Maker has open and it also reminds me that um, if there's any problems that I may experience within Windows Movie Maker it suggests that I update my video drivers if I run into any problems and uh, it's always smart to make sure that you are um, running the latest video driver for your hardware okay I'm gonna click on close here and um, that's about it you can start using Windows Movie Maker at this point and uh, that's it for this tutorial let me go ahead and close this out but before I do keep in mind that Windows Movie Maker is not included in Windows 10 if you do a clean install on a laptop or a desktop or tablet um, if you did an upgrade and you had Windows um, Movie Maker already installed on your previous operating system, it would be carried over to uh, Windows 10. Okay, subscribe and like my video.